back to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to a very exciting video. It feels like I've been waiting for this moment forever. Today is the day that my Aston Martin finally comes home here to East London. My Aston Martin has come home. I've been waiting for this car for a long, long time. It's been up in Edinburgh. I'm saying up in Edinburgh. Edinburgh's not literally up that way, but it's up north. And today is the day that it's been delivered. It is just over my shoulder there and I'm very, very excited and it looks it looks really cool actually, not being in a showroom. It actually looks a lot better just being where it's supposed to be, in my car park, and soon to be driving around Harrods. Anyway, to celebrate, I've teamed up once again with Vincero Watches. They've been on my channel many times. You know what they're about. A lot of you love them. So I've teamed up with them. And in this video, I'm wearing their Rogue. This is their new model. And it's actually my favorite, I think, so far of all the range. I'm wearing the Rogue anyway. It's a brand new model to their lineup. I will leave an exclusive discount for my followers only. I've got a very special link and I'll leave it below. It'll be in the pinned comment and in the description. Click the link and make sure you get a discount because these are sick. They've had over 14,000 five-star reviews on their watches, which is chaos. 14,000 five-star reviews. Anyway, so they're cool designs. Anyway, check them out. They've got a big, big range. Uh, many of you will already be familiar with Vincero watches. Check it out. That's what I've got on my wrist right here. Anywho, without further ado then, what are we doing here? Um, I have Archie has something. No, no, you can stand there. What have you got there? Yeah, I've got a box. I've got a delivery. I've got a box. This is a very exciting box. Why is that an exciting box, Archie? Because uh, inside we have your keys. Okay, so first things first, how cool is this? This is why Aston Martin is just so cool. Apart from the fact that Archie's holding it, Aston Martin are actually a cool brand. We've got the kind of the, the metal uh, safety key, which is kind of like the uh, uh, mechanical override to the lock, locking That's system. We have the valet key. No, it's not supposed to be tucked in. It's meant so you can, uh, okay, yeah. if, if you want it, you can just kind of pull uh, it up like uh, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. So what we've got in here, we've got the, the valet key here. This is so if, if you kind of lend the car out to you know, the valet parker, you say you can have that and you can, you can drop it on the floor. And it's fine. Why have you just done that? Because it's, it's plastic, it's fine. No, it's unnecessary. You don't like that, do you? No. It's fine, it dropped. I'll borrow that one, because you said I could borrow it whenever I want the car. No, I didn't say that. You can't even drive. Uh, and then you've got the mechanical <laughs> override there, and then you've got the main key, this so one what, here. So what do you mean a mechanical override? So, you know, like if the electric go, the battery goes, and like the whole oh, car locks yeah, yeah, itself, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. actually physically override yeah. it with the key. Yeah. Uh, and this is... This is actually cool. This is why Aston is just sick. I don't know if that will focus. Are you going to focus, mate? Yeah, 600 quid on a camera, thanks very much. Um, but anyway, if, if this camera was uh, as good as a Canon, um, you'd be seeing that there was an Aston Martin logo in there in the, in the end of this, and that is the bit that goes into the dash, and we'll see that in a sec. But that is a cool key. You put that on a table when you're out for dinner, Archie, what's happening? It's going in a drink. It's not going in a drink, is it? No, no that, honestly, that's really cool. I actually really like that, I'm really impressed. It's the best bit of the whole thing. It's better than my uh, SV key, because my SV key looks like an Audi RS5. Your SV key is the same as my, I have a Lamborghini as well, so. I know, okay, should we? Oh, actually, no, mine's actually better, because mine's actually got a boot key. Oh, okay, no, you know, no. no. Mine's actually got a boot key. That's true, a bit of trivia here. Uh, I don't even have a boot release. It or not? No, can I have a key for the car, please? Where do you want it? I'll Just, put, I'll 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 I need to, no, I want to open the car. I'll open it for you, wait. Um, can I have the, yeah. I just opened it. No, but I want it anyway. <laughs> All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, the Vantage AMR is home. This this isn't really its kind of permanent home. It will be put more kind of more into a kind of a storagey, secure kind of place. Those all know me. We know where it's going. It's going into basically a vault uh, where I can access it with ease. But anyway, there are loads of cool little details in here. I'm not going to bore you too much with it. Thank God for that. No, shut up. But I can't actually get my head around how cool it is inside this car. So, so sick. And uh, the guys at Edinburgh have smashed it because I'm so boring. I like stuff like this. But anyway, here we go. The boot is great, but I've got my very own Aston Martin car cover. Stuff like that amuses me greatly. I really, really enjoy that. Oh, how are you finding it in there? I like it. It's good in there, isn't it? So the back of the seats here are satin carbon. And then you've obviously got the lime trim. I must admit, in my last video, in the dealer video with this, there was a lot of divided opinion on this car. Some of you absolutely love it, and the people that love it are, like, flat chat about it. But some of you were quite abusive, which I quite enjoy, actually. Pedal position's perfect, heel and what toe. Are you, are you pressing stuff? No, 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 I'm showing you heel and toe. Were you, show, were you doing the brake lights? No, yeah, because I'm showing you heel Go and toe. Go away. To show you that, you just look like Okay, feet. heel and toe, then go on. Yeah, what what are you achieving there? You're matching the engine revs with the, you know, 
the gears, the gears, the gear revs with the engine revs, so you just literally downshift. But do some cars now do that? Do they, they rev match? Some cars have auto blip, but some cars the pedal setup's wrong. But that's like literally perfect, you just have to be a flat So out. is there a good setup there with the pedals? Yeah, really good. Like honestly, some cars, like one pedal, like round the track is a bit... Why would you do that? It's just annoying. Um, one, one, um, one, uh, there's some tracks that you just would not be good at. Go on and do it again. You know what you are? You're really annoying. <laughs> from you. I also like uh, the uh, six me box. It's nice. Yeah. It's it is cool. It you is. Know what? You terrorised me. You were rude when I said I was getting this car. You were like, why would you get one of those? And now you get it. I totally get it. I, li I like all the little details that it's got. It is good. You can tell it's that proper Aston, that handmade in England. It's just sick. So people know that it's the same colour as like the race car was. Okay, so racing Le background Le then. Le winning. I, I don't know which car it's come from. It's like the Halo colour scheme, and the the Valkyrie was announced in this colour scheme, and it's the it, yeah it was, this car D was brought out the, the, the DBR DBR one. I think it was. It was the GC one car. It won Le Mans. I think it was in two thousand nine with this. Lovely. That's chaos, Howard. <laughs> I'm not. You are super boring. I, I, I racing. like racing. Your audience yeah, like racing. racing car. I don't care about racing. No, Fine. no, my audience like racing. I drove a Formula One car, and they didn't care. You drove Formula One car for me, and you can't drive. I can drive. No, I I, I think, think it's really cool. Seventy four miles and uh... yeah, seventy four miles on the clock still. It's currently actually snowing right now, so we're probably not going to take it out. Oh, no, I we? am. Go on, come sit next to me. I think. No, 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 you're not in the shed. No, uh, no, but just we'll sort that out. We're not. What now? <laughs> it's at midnight. Absolutely not. We're churning at midnight. It's chaos. Do you know? What? Do you like this, lad? Carbon door skins like the SV. Yep. Everything but in here is very new. Do you want to sit? That's here? all carbon. That's all carbon. You've got a little tang going around here. Yeah, man, I'm just going to put that there. Okay. Go there. I'm going to come around. That's what I'm going to do. But it's actually quite practical. That's quite a big boot there. There we go. There is some sensible stuff on this channel every now and again. A little leather strap to pull that down with. Very good. I've never been on this side. Oh, it's nice. It is great. And the glove box here is on a button, so that is invariably just going to go wrong. Yeah, so this is all quite tactile in here. This is all sort of. Uh, touch screeny. Oh yeah, this is what I was going on about. At the key. Here we go then. This should work now. I don't want... No, I don't turn Oh, it. and that just sits in there perfectly. Yeah, push it in. Oh, it's good. Yeah, the old AMR comes up on the screen there. And everything starts buzzing. And then it does the whole kind of power, soul, beauty thing on the dash as well. It's cool, isn't it? Do you know what one thing that I would actually say about this car? Sorry, sorry. I don't know. I don't touch it. Just uh, all good. What else? I don't. Turn it on. Pull the brake. Chaos! It's oh. good. Uh, and it's got the outrated hi-fi, so you've got the little speakers there. Not that you need a hi-fi when you've got that going on behind you. And you've got the sort of satin oh, aluminium really like strap braces. It's good, isn't it? One thing I was going to say before you start messing around. No. Not too much, mate. It's cold. Thank you. This is going to get retrimmed, okay? I think this needs a retrim. I want to do some Alcantara to match the dash and get some lime stitching on there just to match the rest of the theme. So I might get satin carbon, Alcantara, and some lime stitching on the steering wheel with a 12 o'clock marker. 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock marker in lime. Yeah, a bit dry steering, mate. Yeah, I really like that. It's nice. Do you want to just kick the gear knob off as well whilst you're trashing my car? Mm, well, I was actually just feeling the clutch because I think it's got a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and these seats are actually quite comfortable. They are fixed though. You could do a long journey. Like, I, that's how I see a lot of these cars. Like, if you can't do a long journey in them, then you might as well just... So the backs of the seats are carbon as well. They're not just for kind of for show. And I don't know if you can pick that up here behind Archie's very cheap jacket, but you've got AMR Oi, on the... Do you know what would be cool? there as well. And a metal Aston Martin badge down there as well. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's sick. Yep. If you drove to Le Mans in this, it'd be sick. Well, we, we, we're going this year, so should we drive there? Well, I'm racing in it, so I don't know what you're doing. Are you actually? But no, I don't know. This has become like the Archie show. Um, um, no, we'll go to Le Mans this year. I don't know what we're going to be doing there. Be cool to, it would be cool to drive something like this out there. Yeah, we should drive there in one of our cars. Uh, your lights, year. I'm just going to put them to auto. Yeah, thanks mate. Cheers, that's really helpful. I literally got home from work earlier. Turbo Transport Tony turned up with this car. It's being unloaded 
uh, and I've, this is the first time I've properly sat in it in kind of my own time. Uh, I'm really, really pleased. I think for the money, there's not really anything else like it. It's actually, it's a true modern classic. I know people ban around that term a lot, but it is. It really is. I think it's kind of. It's got it. It's a. Uh... It's just cool. Yeah. It is just cool. I mean, I think you'd be hard pressed to meet anyone that didn't even like cars that would look at this and not like it. But it's just, it's all like aluminium and Alcantara, all the kind of the hinges and everything. It's just, it's just very well made in here. That mm. is just cool in the middle of the dash. I mean, you can't see it because I've got a terrible camera. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. So engine start. You push that in, clutch in. Cool. And then that, and then you just take that. Oh, oh, that's cool. As it cut the key, as the key comes out, the uh, that all goes down. And you wouldn't even know there was a screen in there, so that will say that getting nicked. It's not going to be nicked, is it? No, no, I'm just saying, like, yeah. now it, it was going to, but now no. Yeah, and all around here as well, it's obviously satin, satin carbon. Are there any useful buttons here, really? Uh, sport mode? Yeah, you've got sport mode uh, around there, which will kind of open the valve slightly sooner. But I've actually got the bypass now running, which means the valves are open at all times. I don't live in a kind of quiet residential street. I can make noise uh, down here, uh, and it's fine. And where else is going to be parked? Luxury living in East London, lad. Yeah, luxury living in East London, very well. Uh, all of this, again, it's all, it's all just very, very well made. It's great. I like that. It's just a subtle little thing. They didn't need to put this little bit here. No. But what that will do is that will stop your uh, Red Bull going everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And the, everything in here, look, there's a little leather strap in there as well. It's just cool. It's just well, nicely USB done. There, you... I really love this car. And there's obviously storage space behind you here as well. Mm. Uh, I really, really, really I like, like it's this got car. A bit like the roll cage, got sort of bit. Like, it looks like a roll cage, but it's yeah, it does. Thing. Uh, did you know, Archie? It's got the uprated. Uh, I can't remember how many watts hi-fi system it is, um, but there is the uprated audio. I don't know what sound well. system they've got in these. To be fair, uh, I don't know. I think I think it might be Burmester. I'm not actually sure to be honest at this point. Burmester. But yeah, I think this is one of those cars. You've got to see it to fully, fully appreciate it. And you're very unlikely to see one of these on the road. I like uh, how here. I don't know whether you're going to see the camera, but how you've got the little seat. You see, move your seats here. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, is it on that side as well? Yep. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's that. That's actually quite nice. Rather than so you know when you're going for the edge of the seat and your doors hanging out and then you've got tennis elbow and the whole thing's just. <laughs> <laughs> to go and five things you you hate video. Well yeah, that's gonna be another one. Handbrake down here. Oh, is that cool? No, it's got so this car. Where is it? Show me. It's just here, mate. Yep. Where is it? Over here. So it's got an old school handbrake. Where else are you going to pick up these days a brand new car with a naturally aspirated V8, a six-speed manual box, racing heritage, and a classic uh, handbrake? Anyway then, waffling aside, that is it. The cover is on the car, and I can't wait for it to stop snowing, finally, and get out and show you guys and girls what this thing actually sounds like with the valves out and giving it some beans. We'll find some nice roads for once, and we'll actually do some proper driving videos, because that's what this car is for. I love it, I'm excited, and I'm probably gonna take it to Monaco this year as well. So the last year I did it in the 911T. There's some, 9, blah, blah, there's some 911T news coming to the channel as well. I've got a little plan for that car. It is still around, don't panic, but I've got a plan for that car. So that will be revealed very soon as well. And I will be running some sort of a poll, I think, on that. There will be some 992 news. Uh, there will be some Ferrari news as well, some very unexpected Ferrari news. Uh, it may involve an F12. Uh, I don't know what's happening at this point. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe. I apologize for this kind of rushed uh, video this evening, uh, but I just wanted to get out a little video just to show you all that it has arrived. I'm with my Aston, finally, and we can get going with some proper content. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure you check out Vincero Watches. The link is below. Give them a click, check them out, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.